Good evening and welcome to this prayer service for the week of prayer for Christian unity. We are welcoming chaplains and students from across the university. And uh, it's wonderful to have so many faces here. Even though we're not able to be in the same place, it's wonderful that we can gather here together. The service for this evening comes from the community of Grand Champ in Switzerland. And the sisters there have prepared the words that we're using this evening. Silence plays a large role in their worship life. So there will be silence throughout the service this evening. And we hope that this silence gives you that time to pause and reflect on the day that has been the evening to come and tomorrow's comings. We begin with a prayer. Lord, you invite us to abide in you, who are the vine dresser who cares for us with love. You call on us to see the beauty of each branch united to the vine, the beauty of each person, and yet too often the differences in others make us afraid. We withdraw into ourselves, our trust in you and one another is lost. Come and direct our hearts toward you once again, that as one family, we may praise your name. Amen. And I think the Catholic chaplaincy will lead us in the litany of praise, but we might need a little help with the sound over there. You who call us to praise in the midst of the earth, glory to you. We sing your praise in the midst of the world and among all peoples. We sing your praise in the midst of creation and among all creatures. You who call us to be praise in the midst of the earth, glory to you. We sing your praise among suffering and tears. We sing your praise among promises and achievements. You who call us to be praise in the midst of the earth, glory to you. We sing your praise praise in the places of conflict and misunderstanding. We sing your praise in the places of encounter and reconciliation. You who call us to be praise in the midst of the earth, glory to you. We sing your praise in the midst of rifts and divisions. We sing your praise in the midst of life and death, the birth of a new heaven, and a new earth. You, you who call us to be praise in the midst of the earth, glory to you. The first vigil, abiding in Christ, the unity of the whole person. A reading from the Gospel of John. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, 
thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because a servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. God of love, through Christ you said to us, you did not choose me, but I chose you. You invite us to receive your friendship. Teach us to respond more deeply to this invitation and to grow and grow in a life that is ever more complete. The joy of our heart is in God. God of life, you call us to be praise in the midst of the world and to accept one another. May your loving gaze, which rests upon each person, inspire us to celebrate each other just as we are. The joy of our heart is in God. God, you who gather, you knit us together as one vine in Jesus. May your loving spirit abide in us at church and in our community, that together we may celebrate you with joy. The joy of our heart is in God. God of the one vineyard, you call us to live in your love in all we do and say. Touched by your goodness, grant us to be a reflection of that love in our homes, schools and workplaces. The joy of our heart is in God. Very often, we think of prayer as something we do, an activity of our own. In this short time, we are invited to an interior silence and to turn aside from all the noise and concerns of our lives and thoughts. In this silence, the action belongs to God. We are simply called to abide and rest in God's love.
the second vigil, the visible unity of Christians. A reading from 1 Corinthians 1 verses 10 to 13. Now I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you should be in agreement and that there should be no divisions among you, but that you should be united in the same mind and the same purpose. For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there are quarrels among you, my brothers and sisters. What I mean is that each of you says, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Has Christ been divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptised in the name of Paul? Holy Spirit, you create and recreate the church in all places. Come and whisper in our hearts the prayer which Jesus addressed to his Father on the eve of his Passion, that they may all be one, so that the world may believe. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, Light the fire of, our lo of your love in us so that suspicions and misunderstandings cease in the church. May the walls that separate us fall. Lord, have mercy. Holy Spirit, consoler of all, open our hearts to forgiveness and reconciliation and bring us back to you when we lose our way. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, give us poverty of spirit so that we may be open to your grace. Lord, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you never abandon the men, women and children who are persecuted for their faithfulness to the gospel. Give them strength and courage and support those who help them. Lord, have mercy. And now let us exchange a sign of Christ's peace as our prayer and commitment to unity. And whilst we obviously are not all together in the same room, we can't exchange a physical sign of peace with our neighbour at this time. If you do have a candle with you, I invite you uh, to symbolically light that candle together and perhaps you might like to unmute yourself as we light our candles and then say, peace be with you. 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 The third vigil, the unity of all peoples with all creation. A reading from Revelations. 
After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. God of life, you have created everything and everyone in your image and likeness. We sing your praise for the gift of our many cultures and traditions. Grant us the courage to stand against injustice and prejudice. God of peace, God, God of love, peace. in you is our hope. Merciful God, you have shown us in Christ that we are one in you. Teach us to use this gift in the world so that believers of all faiths in every country may be able to listen to each other and live in peace. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. O oh, Jesus, you came into the world and shared fully in our humanity. You know the hardships of life for people who suffer in so many different ways. May the spirit of compassion move us to share our time, gifts, and resources with all those in need. God of love, peace, God of love, in you is our hope. Holy Spirit, you hear the fury of your wounded creation and the cries of those already suffering from climate change. Guide us toward new ways of living that are in harmony with all creation. God of peace, God of love, in you is our hope. Jesus calls us to abide in him as branches of the true vine. He calls us to bear the fruit of God's healing and reconciling love. He calls us to draw closer to God and to one another as we offer this love to the world. In God, all our desires and longings find their meeting place. As we move closer to God, so we draw closer to one another. And the closer we come to one another in our hearts, in our understanding, in our compassion, the closer we come to God. With the words that Jesus taught us, 
Let us now pray together. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Spirituality and solidarity are inseparably linked. Prayer and action belong together. When we abide in Christ, we receive the spirit of courage and wisdom to act against all injustice and oppression. And we now pray the words of the community of the Sisters of Grandchamp who inspired this evening's service. Pray and work that God may reign. Throughout your day, let the word of God breathe life into work and rest. Maintain inner silence in all things so as to dwell in Christ. Be filled with the spirit of the Beatitudes, joy, simplicity, mercy. And before we hear the words of the blessing, I'd like to extend some words of thanks to all of those who took part in this evening's service. Thank you to Esther Mason, who's the chaplain at Regents Park College, to Susanna Reed, who is the chaplain at Harris Manchester College, to Father Nick King, Father Matthew Power, Alvia Fernandez, and Rebecca who is a student and who are all part of the Oxford University Catholic Chaplaincy. It's wonderful to have you as part of this service. It's wonderful to come together from wherever we are, united by the Holy Spirit. And so receive the words of the blessing. Be one so that the world may believe. Abide in God's love. Go into the world and bear the fruits of love. May the God of all creation fill you with all joy and all peace in faith, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.